Hi there, I'm Rubbertex Raccoon. Today I'll be showing you how to utilize the new Ferality Asset Manager to get assets added to your avatar or Ferality Silva. I'll also be showing you how to use the Silva customization tools in Substance Painter. It's really easy to learn, so come on, let's get going. To begin, we recommend starting off with a fresh Unity project, making sure to use VRChat's currently supported Unity version. Remember, you must have a rank of new user or higher in VRChat to upload custom avatars. Next, you'll want to download our Ferality Asset Manager from our website. Now, with your Unity project open, double-click the Ferality Asset Manager package, then click Import. This will take a little bit of time. Once it's done, Go up to Ferality, then Show SDK. From the Settings tab here, you'll be able to log in. A new browser window will pop up. Click Allow Access. After you've done that, you can close the browser and use the Downloads tab to choose which assets you'd like to add to your project. Adding the assets will take a bit of time. These assets include the Ferality Silva Shader and some themed goodies, including a badge, depending on your registration level. First class and sponsor tiers will have a whole host of themed accessories. Now we're gonna go over how to add the Ferality Silva shader to your custom VRChat avatar. To begin, you'll need an avatar base of your choice. Today we'll be using the free count by Ghost Cabot to demonstrate. To change your shader to the Ferality Silva shader, double click on your avatar and on the inspector here, you'll see all the materials of your avatar. In the drop-down menu, Go to Ferality, Silva Shader, and select the Silva Shader Opaque, or one of the other options depending on your needs. Feel free to do this to as many of your materials as you'd like. Inside the shader, there are many advanced options to mess around with, such as audio link emissions and other special effects. Customize anything you'd like. Once your shader is added, that's it. Just upload your avatar to VRChat and you're done. Remember, the older Ferality shader versions like Legends, Luma, and Aqua will not work with Ferality Silva. If you need more help, be sure to check out our other YouTube tutorials and to ask questions in our Shader Help channel in the Ferality Discord. Let's move on to Substance Painter. I'm going to teach you how to add our new Ferality Silva patterns and brushes into Substance Painter. To begin, make sure you have the latest version of Substance Painter. At the time of this recording, it's version 8.3.1, and that you've loaded in an avatar. Usually, your avatar base maker of choice will have provided an SPP file for it. I'll be using the free count by Ghost Cabot. Now let's grab the latest version of the Ferality Silva customization tools from the Ferality website. Now we need to get our Ferality Silva customization tools into Substance Painter. It's really easy. Drag and drop the provided Substance Tools folder into Substance Painter in the area marked Assets. A new window is gonna pop open with these files. Here at the bottom, we're gonna import our resources into the library so that we have access to all of them through all of our projects in case you have multiple avatars that need to be retextured. Hopefully this should be a good start to get you on your way to looking fresh for Ferality Silva. If you need more information or help with Substance Painter, YouTube is always a great resource of tutorials. We can't wait to see all of your amazing avatars at Ferality Silva. See you there. Bye.